So this question looks like it's going to be a simplified question, just given the length of the question. Simplified questions are typically between one and three lines long. So let's figure out what we're given and what we are asked to find. Like, what are we finding, which I'll just represent as a question mark. So we're given that f of x equals 4x plus 1. We're also given that g of x is equal to x squared minus 2. And then the question says, which of the following is an expression for f of g of x? So that's what we're trying to find, f of g of x. Okay, so the way that I solve uh, these more complex functions is I treat it like order of operations, which would say that I need to focus, first of all, on the inside of the parentheses here. So I'm going to rewrite this f of g of x by replacing g of x with what I know, right, what I've been given that g of x is equal to. So I replace g of x with x squared minus 2. So that's my first step, right? My first step in this order of operations process is to simplify what's inside the parentheses. What was inside the parentheses for me is g of x. G of x is actually x squared minus 2, so that's my first step. My second step is to treat this like a regular function, right? Because now technically it is a regular function. It's only an f of instead of a f of g of. So with that, I, I focus here and I say, well, if f of x is 4x plus 1, that means f of x squared minus 2 should be 4. But instead of x, right, I'm going to replace that x with x squared minus 2 and then add my 1. And now lastly, I'm just simplifying. Right? So I can distribute the 4 across the parentheses. So I'm left with 4x squared minus 8. And then I have a plus 1 here. Therefore, I can combine those like terms, leaving me with 4x squared minus 7. And therefore, my final answer is choice H.